So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing an uh, eight flavor samyang mukbang. So technically, this isn't the traditional mukbang where you know, there's like this huge food in front of you. This is just me trying different flavors of samyang for each week. I don't really want to eat samyang for like every day or like in one sitting because baka magka kidney stones or like magka, you know like problems sa health so I've been keeping it in a minimum and trying it like each week one packet each week and this is me basically trying all the flavors so yeah currently I'm actually hosting an architecture art supplies giveaway so if you're interested in that then you can visit my Instagram and see the mechanics so good luck and keep on watching Hey guys, so for today's video, as I've mentioned, I will be doing um, 8 flavor Samyang Mukbang taste test. So I bought all these noodles on Shopee. I will provide the link in the description box below. This is a picture of the shop. And basically, I bought these 6 muna, six flavors muna, and then I bought the next 2 later because that is hindi siya available like out of stock. So I bought the 2 now lang. And then I also bought some Bibigo seaweed. And yeah, I will be trying it with these. So for the first flavor that I will be trying, I will be trying the Samyang bean curd, soybean ata. This one is yung mga nakita sa K-drama Choo Choo. So to prepare it, since di ako marunong magluto, I just put it in a microwave and put it to one minute, I mean two minutes. And minsan, I repeat it for another minute para mas mainit siya and makook. And this is me trying the TikTok trend. And after the microwaving, minimix ko lang at sadi drain. Tapos nilalagay ko yung mga flavor. These are the flavors it comes with sa packet, noodle packets. And then I just mix, 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 mix. And as you can see, sobrang itim niya. And you're supposed to stir fry it daw while cooking. Pero di ko na yun nagawa. And then I also make later. it to a point to give my yaya also, my maid. Because di ko naman mauubas, so I always give her. And then I have some, prepare some side meals. Ulams like shopaos and seaweed and some yakult. Tapos syempre di mawawala yung water kasi sobrang ang hang talaga niya. And this is me like, sobrang ang hang talaga ng flavor na to. I think this one was the um, bean soy flavor. And I was eating the shopao pa, shopa para mag like tone down yung spiciness level. And this is me pretending to like it. <laughs> Pero for the taste naman, yung taste niya is parang beans talaga. If you ate yung parang sandwich na ice cream na parang fish, I think, ano tawag dun? May tawag yun eh. Yung parang, basta beans. If you know what the taste of beans is, yun talaga yung lasa niya. Tapos pinaanghang lang ng sobra. Parang siyang roasted flavor na type of beans. I think I can say na super interesting yung lasa niya. It's not your typical type of like instant noodles flavor. So it's definitely worth a try. Pero, um, maanghang talaga siya. And di siya yung parang ibang flavor na cheesy o kaya like super duper anghang like yung times 2 o kaya yung times 4. May times 4 ba? Basta, Medyo bearable naman yung anghang niya kasi naubos ko pa rin. If hindi siya kasi bearable, di ko talaga ubusin. Pero super interesting yung last niya. I give it a 7 out of 10 siguro. Pero siguro in my list, this would be like mga 5th place out of all 8 flavors. So now I'm gonna be trying the spaghetti one. So this is me in a change of outfit. This is the next week na cause di ko ubusin ng 1 night lang okay one day yung lahat ng eight packets this is my food i have shopa a banana hot dog and some spaghetti i cook the hot dog kasi perfect match siya sa spaghetti para magmukhang Jollibee choo choo yung spaghetti ko pero from yung lasa niya hindi talaga siya pang Jollibee parang manghang siya eh. para siyang yung nisin ay lucky me pala lucky me na um spaghetti yung maalat medyo na may pagka tomato ish pero for me Di naman masyadong lasa yung pagka-tomato niya kasi manghang pa rin siya. And I highly suggest na you put hot dog in it kasi parang perfect fit talaga siya sa food. And as you can see, di naman ako nag-water masyado. Parang nag-water pa rin ako. Pero it's mas bearable siya kasi sa yung bean soy curd na flavor. So I give it siguro an 8 out of 10. And siguro 6th place siya. 
and yung bean soy curd naman nasa 5th place out of all the 8 packet. Quick segue lang, if you're enjoying the video so far, I suggest you give this video a like and consider ringing that notification bell to be notified with my other vlogs. So, the next one I'll be trying is the curry flavor and isang packet lang siya kasi magkasama na yung curry at saka spicy sauce chuchu niya. So, I highly suggest na i-gamitan lahat ng nasa packet para nandun talaga yung flavor ng curry. And for this one naman, I will be drinking a uh, milk tea from my friend. Yung shop niya is called Milk Tea Co. So I highly suggest you try that. And for the noodles naman, I decided to cook yung scrambled eggs kasi match siya with the curry aesthetic. So far, sa tatlo kong you know, tinry, ito talaga yung pinakamasarap kasi three lang pa lang naman yung try ko. I think lasang lasa talaga yung curry flavor niya. At saka magandang combo yung egg at saka milk tea. With the taste naman, parang... Um, self-explanatory naman siya. Para yung mga um, curry packets na binibili mong flavoring sa grocery. Tapos nalagyan mo ng parang ang hang. Sobrang natripan ko yung lasa niya kasi lasang lasa ngayong curry. So I suggest if bibili kayo ng samyang, ito yung bilin nyo. And for the flavor rankings naman, this is the third best out of all eight flavors. So yeah. Super recommend ko tong flavor if you wanna try something new na hindi lang spicy lang. So yeah. So for my next flavor naman na I'll be trying, this is the Samyang Carbo. This is the normal Carbo ah, and hindi yung light. I'm also eating baked sushi and then egg with this. And I also make it to a point na i-separate yung helper ko because she also wants to try. So I'm gonna give her some. A few moments later. Pero you might be confused with the flavors because dalawa yung Carbo yung flavors niya. And isa yung light at saka isa yung normal. And the one I'm trying now is yung Carbo normal. Sa lasa naman ng noodles niya, okay yung pagka-cheesy niya. Sobrang like lasa yung pagka-cheese. Siguro hindi naman carbonara pero may cheese. Pero I wouldn't really call it carbonara kasi cheesy pa rin siya. You know, ang carbonara kasi medyo like creamy. Pero for this packet, parang hindi ko masyadong lasa yung pagka-creamy niya. Parang siyang merong parmesan na like garlicky yung pagka-lasa niya. Hindi ko masyadong nalasahan yung pagka-spicy pero meron pa rin talaga. And for the flavor ranking naman, this goes on my rank number 4 out of 8 samyang flavors I tried. So, I definitely recommend this one. Lalo na if hindi kayo masyado mahilig sa spicy and you like the cheesy more. Pero, I still like the curry better. So, for the next one naman, I am trying the kimchi flavor. I am eating it with this baked sushi and some seaweed kasi kimchi siya. And this is me pouring the sauce packet. And just like yung curry, nasa sauce na rin yung flavor ng kimchi. Tapos nag milk tea din ako kasi extra. <laughs> I highly recommend talaga yung milk tea ko from my friend kasi sobrang sarap niya for its price na 1 liter. Sobrang sulit and perfect for all meals. And for my thoughts naman for the kimchi flavor, sobrang pangit ng lasa niya as in not even overreacting or like making drama. Pero sobrang pangit talaga ng lasa niya never again. As you can see, parang kinain ko na lang yung baked sushi ko kasi sobrang pangit talaga ng lasa ng kimchi. Sobrang sour, sobrang pait, sobrang ang hang niya. And I was trying to like it by sinasabay ko yung baked sushi sa kimchi pero parang hindi ko talaga yung trip yung laksa niya. At first, parang sa sobrang sour ng flavor niya at sa sobrang ang hang, parang feeling mo um, panis yung noodles. Pero hindi, ganun lang talaga lasa ng kimchi. And I really didn't like the flavor talaga and I ended up not finishing yung noodles because wala lang, sobrang pangit lang talaga ng laksa niya. No. No. I definitely do not recommend this Samyang flavor. Out of all the flavors, this is definitely my rank 8. Like the last out of all 8 packets. So moving forward, I am going to try the Samyang light. Samyang light flavor. This is yung light flavor na parang black and white yung packaging niya. And I'm eating it with some sunny side up eggs and some seaweed. And for my thoughts naman for this flavor, I really 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 like and love this flavor. Super simple lang ng lasa niya. Wala siyang flavor or like wala siyang extra kaartihan. It's just this normal parang original na pancit canton na spicy. Super basic yung lasa niya and very light lang yung ang hang. So you can pair it with anything you want. And for this one, I'm eating it with feta which which is surprisingly sobrang ganda ng combination ng lasa. It has like a little crunch to it. It adds a great touch to the experience. Pero the noodles itself is really good talaga. And hindi siya masyadong overpowering. And like hindi siya masyadong maanghang. So I definitely recommend you try this Samyang Bulldog light flavor. Especially sa mga duwag and hindi kaya yung mga normal na spice level or yung times 2 or times 4. For my Samyang flavor rankings naman, this definitely goes to my number 1 spot. Kasi sobrang ganda ng lasa niya inside 
sobrang sarap sobrang sarap pala ng lasa hindi ganda and I actually bought this a couple of times already kasi it really is my favorite out of the bunch of Samyang flavors and actually even other brands I definitely really enjoy this the best so for my next flavor naman na I will try this is the Samyang Carbo Light a while ago I tried yung normal Carbo but this time I will be trying the Carbo Light and I was actually really excited nung nag-release sila ng ganito. I never really knew na may gantong flavor na Samyang. I thought pinaka light na talaga yung Carbo. Pero to my surprise, meron pang mas lighter version. And I really, 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 really like this flavor also. Kasi compared to the normal Carbo, mas light nga to and mas less yung pagka-spicy niya. And more on pagka-creamy. So... This one definitely fits the like carbonara vibe better than the carbon normal and I ate it with some tofu and some spam and seaweed and this is my like yummy dance I do if nasasarapan ako sa pagkinakain ko and from what I've noticed sa carbon normal and sa carbo na light yung noodles nila is different para siyang fettuccine na parang flat yung noodles niya very mas creamy talaga yung carbo light at saka mas lasa yung cheese choo choo super faint lang talaga yung lasa niya ng pagka spicy pero definitely meron pa rin kasi it's samyang and it's really not samyang without this hint of spiciness i definitely like this better than the normal carbo samyang flavor na i tried kanina which was fourth spot but this one naman lands on my second or like number two spot on my flavor rank so for the last flavor naman na i will be trying this is the samyang stew which is kind of different kasi it says on the instructions na may sabaw siya. So actually, di ko rin alam if I'm doing it right. Pero I dissolved the flavoring sa water muna. Tapos I heated it with the um, noodles na at 2 minutes. Which actually turned out well naman in my opinion. Tapos I proceeded to placing the garlic flavoring powder at ayon. And I also put some seaweed as a garnish para may aesthetic naman yung bowl ko. So, for the flavor naman of the Samyang stew, medyo okay naman yung lasa niya. Although medyo garlic, hindi siya medyo garlicky. Garlicky talaga siya. So, this is the best type of ramen noodles for people that like garlic. Pero for me naman, hindi naman ako masyado mahilig sa garlic. So, this was like a letdown for me. And I'm not really a fan of Samyang having a soup noodle ramen lineup. Kasi mas nasanay ako sa dry noodles. Pero I appreciate the fact that they're giving us like this variation of noodle types. I also ate it with some mashed potato na may cheese para pang turn down ng spiciness. But for my flavor ranking, Samyang stew lands on my 7th spot because it's not the worst like the kimchi flavor. So, that's it for the video. I hope you watched till the end. This is just me giving a review of all the flavors so i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you on the next one